Hello, I'm Mrs. Brady and I'm the curriculum leader for music here at Vale of York Academy. So I'm just going to talk you through what you need for your uh, GCSE music this academic year. So we follow the EDUCAS specification and it's three components. Component one is performing, which is worth 30%. Component two is composing, which is worth 30%. And composing uh, component three is appraising, which is worth 40%. So for your performing this year, it's slightly different because of the effects of COVID, but you need to produce one and a half minutes of solo performance or a minimum of two minutes performance time if you're also doing an ensemble. You don't have to submit an ensemble performance, but if you do, then there's got to be a minimum of two minutes. For composing, it's also slightly adjusted. You'd usually have to do two compositions, but this year you only have to do one, minimum of one, that's got to last at least a minimum of two minutes long. It can be in response to a set brief by the exam board, or it can be completely free choice, but the minimum time requirement is two minutes. And component three, the appraising exam, there's no change here. So this is worth 40% and it's one and a half hours long. It's a listening exam. So you get extracts of music, you get a question paper, everything's printed in the booklet and you write all your answers in the answer booklet. There are eight questions two on each area of study. Each question is worth 12 marks, so it's out of 96 altogether. Area of study one is musical forms and devices. Area of study two is music for ensemble. Area of study three is film music and area of study four is pop music. Those topics are, are set. Um, two of the questions, so two out of the eight questions are based on set extracts. So these you need to study and learn in advance. For summer next year, 2022, the extracts are from Area of Study 1, Badinari by Bach, and from Area of Study 4, the song Africa by Toto. So that you will have, you know that you are going to have questions on those two pieces of music. So two out of the eight questions are going to be on those pieces of music for sure. Um, all questions in the listening exam focus on the musical elements. So you need to be really confident and... Um, aware of what the musical elements are and the sort of language, keywords and vocabulary associated with them. So it's melody, dynamics, which is volume, rhythm, harmony, tonality, timbre sonority. This is how an instrument sounds, how it is played, whether you blow into it, whether it has a wooden reed, do you hit it, shake it, scrape it, um, put a mute on it and you know that sort of thing uh, pitch and structure so you really need to have a very clear understanding of what those terms are not just in language as in being able to describe what those things mean but also when you listen to music you've got to be able to pick those things out um, that's also the focus of your compositions how well you use the musical elements so they're a really really huge part of this syllabus uh, there are some uh, textbooks available so the revision guide is quite small it's really good there's lots in there the listening tests is also really good they're all set questions on the areas of study and then there's a generic GCSE music book there in the middle the white one uh, which is just lots of practice listening questions um, if you'd like any of these just let me know and we can order them through school for the educational price okay that's all really so please get in touch if you need anything you know where I am um, but apart from that, take care. Good luck. Bye.